Hi, David Moore, Equity Vantage with Robert Smith and Peregrine Private Capital. And, and we're going to wrap things up with this segment today. And, and actually, we were talking <clears throat> during the break a little bit. Uh, so CCIM last, was it last week, two weeks ago, we had Ted Jones, uh, Stuart Title's chief economist speak. And he mentioned something called stagflation. And, and uh, I just wonder if you've got any comments there regarding that. I, I guess before you answer that, I'll just say that I'm sure everybody out there has probably seen ads and heard ads for gold, silver, and, and what are they selling? They're, it's selling a tangible asset inflationary hedge, but you still got to be able to do something with it. And you're still, anytime you're buying something like that, you're betting it's going to go up in value based upon something else, right? It's going to go up for whatever reasons, but typically inflationary times, recessionary times, we have a flight to quality and just as gold, silver, palladium, they're all tangible assets, inflationary hedge, what is real estate? And, and uh, what kind of impact are we going to potentially oh, yeah, be seeing? Yeah. Well, uh, we'll pat ourselves on the back here. We were <laughs> blogging about the inevitability of stagflation at least two years ago. Uh, at the same time, uh, when Jerome Powell uh, was telling us that we weren't going to have inflation and we were telling people, that's bullshit, uh, inflation is <laughs> going to be here. And then when it finally did arrive and he was telling everybody, well, it's transitory, well, we call bullshit on that as well, saying that, you know, he would have been much better served studying history rather than laws. And that's a technical term, too. Te 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 right. Yeah. Because, yeah. Technical <laughs> term. because historically there's nothing transitory about inflation. The three major bouts of inflation in the 20th century lasted on average about four and a half years. So inflation never has been transitory and in all likelihood will not be transitory. And that brings us to where we're at now. You are living in, we believe, a, uh, an, a, an inflationary environment or as the gentleman, uh, the economist mentioned, a stagflationary environment, which is reminiscent of... Uh, late 70s, early 80s, where you had a stagnating economy, meaning an economy growing at maybe one, at best 2%, basically stagnant economically, but at the same time you had inflationary pressures from uh, uh, all, uh, from the, from, uh, you know, more than a decade of zero interest rates, and perhaps even more importantly now, ongoing deficit spending on the part of the government, because the Fed alone can't get inflation under control as long as the government continues to spend or increase the deficit. And that was something that was spoken to very eloquently by his predecessors, Paul Volcker. Uh, and, uh, uh, oh, shoot, uh, oh, gosh. Uh, 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 and Alan Greenspan, Greenspan in terms of, you know, testifying to Congress that monetary policy can't do it by itself. Fiscal policy has to join in. Unfortunately, Mr. Powell declined recently uh, to reiterate that, leaving it up to Congress to do what it does best, and that's continue to spend money. So where does that bring us? That brings us to a stagflationary environment where you're living in an environment going forward of significantly higher inflation, 5 6%, and significantly higher interest rates. And that will directly impact what type of properties will be profitable and what type of properties may not be profitable. And we feel very, very strongly that operating assets, those properties that have multiple tenants and short lease intervals, assuming full occupancy, give you as much opportunity to increase rents as possible. And if you can do that and keep ahead of inflation, then, you know, not only are you maintaining the integrity of your cash flow, but you also increase the likelihood of appreciation in the underlying asset that you may realize at time of sale. We think that's going to be very difficult to do 
with single tenant triple net lease assets where you give up flexibility to increase rents for the perceived security of a long-term corporate lease. Those, you know, if a long-term corporate lease comes with annual rent bumps, it's often 2%, max 3%. That's obviously not serving you well if inflation is running at 5 to 6% or even 4% for that matter. You're falling behind in terms of erosion of your buying power, and there's a strong likelihood that that asset may be worth less rather than more at time of sale. So these are things that we think all real property buyers need to think long and hard about <clears throat> before their subsequent investment. Because what worked in the past from a property type standpoint in a non-inflationary environment is likely not going to work in the future. So there you go. There you go. So with that said, I, I want to encourage, Bob made a comment that, that you know, some of this stuff we, we've covered a long time ago. And I always like to say the only dumb question is the one that's not asked. I'm sure you have questions out there on different topics. And if, if you have a question that has not been covered or, or you're just not aware of it, please reach out. You can reach out to see more at 1031exchange.com. Please like and subscribe to these channels. We really enjoy doing it. We hope you enjoy uh, uh, watching them. But you know, the main thing is we want to get good information out there to you. We want to answer questions that, that you may or may not even know you have. But if you've got questions and, and you'd like to see some something covered and we haven't done it, please reach out. Once again, see more at 1031exchange.com. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, David Moore, Equity Vantage, 1031exchange.com, and uh, Robert Smith with Peregrine Private Capital. Thank you very much, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.